Fresh Talk. You know, I'd never hunted a wild ram of any kind before, especially with my bow. But, you know, I was thinking, oh, these guys can't be very bright. And, and, you know, they can't be very fast. And they probably don't see that well. And they probably don't hear very well either. And they're probably not very spooky. Wrong. (laughs) I had already spent 11 hours here in the field at the Monte Cruz Ranch chasing these rams. And that was enough time for me to figure out that none of what I had thought about these wild rams was true. And look at this one. Man, this is the one I'm after. It's our first morning hunt here at the Monte Cruz. We're after a Texas stall ram. Uh, yesterday afternoon we uh, tried a spot and stalk on them. Found a nice uh, herd of about uh, uh, six uh, rams. In that group was about three doll rams and, and three Corsican rams. Uh, we tried a spot and stalk on them. And man, we just can't get on them. They stayed out in front of us. Now for two days I had him in my sight but could never get a comfortable shot inside my range. And you know you'd think with all this brush that you could just sneak right up on him. (laughs) Well, by that last afternoon I had a new appreciation for the keen senses of these wild Texas rams. And on that final afternoon we located the rams again, but this time we spent almost an hour trying to come up with a game plan. So we decided to get down on the edge of one of these draws, you know, below the rams and try a stalk from down there. And by doing that, we would have the sun on our backs, they would have the sun in their eyes, we would have the wind in our face, and the rams would be above us. (laughs) Sounds like a plan. Give all the glory to God. Lord, thank you. What a blessing. What a hunt. We've been here for two days now. We've been following this same herd of rams here. I mean, it's like they got our number or something. Get about 40 yards just out of my range and, and they're gone. 
they, they seem docile, they don't seem spooked, but I tell you what, they see well, they smell good, they hear good. We just haven't been able to get up on them. All right, golly, look at that. Ooh. Mission accomplished. Let me tell you, I'm so excited. This was one of the most challenging hunts I've ever been on, and who would have thunk, you know, these rams, there's about six of them running together, a couple of Corsicans and a couple of these doll rams, and they seem docile, they seem unafraid, they seem like you're going to walk right up on them, but they just kind of got my number, they know my range, you get about 40 yards from them, and, and they knew I couldn't hit them from there, but they never let me get any closer. And they're milling around down there, for some reason turned around and came back, and I mean the 11th hour here, we got this thing. Let's see what we got here. Now, this isn't the widest ram of those rams, but uh, you can see the heavy bases here. It's got a real nice curl all the way around. It's kind of narrow. Sometimes they'll run out here a little wider with the same amount of curl, but he's heavy, he's mature. Uh, it's exactly the kind of ram that uh, they want us to get out of here. So I'm very, very pleased. This is a beautiful ram, by far the prettiest one that was in there. I'm really, really happy. Thank you, Lord. What a blessing.